Welcome back to Let's Play Halo 2 Anniversary. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, the moment I loaded my game, I unlocked two achievements. Uh, Oracle. Or Halo 2 Complete the Oracle. That was the level that ended with the Arbiter meeting 343 Guilty Spark. So I don't know why I just got that achievement, and it's opening the wrong page. Oh god, what is up with Steam today? Oh, that's right, it's, uh... It's Tuesday, and they do their server updates on Tuesday. Man alive. That's why the connections are always shite. What was the other one? <laughs> here it is, here it is. Enchanted. Halo 2, activate Terminal 6 on Delta Halo. What? How? <laughs> that really threw me off. Uh, Jesus Christ, what was I going to start off with? Uh, oh, that's right, yes, shout out to Elthwar, who left a, uh, a comment saying, at least one thing that can be said about the state of this, uh, the flood on board this station, referring to the gas mine, is uh, that there are very few of them, since they seem to only be using the more basic forms and tactics, which is good. Early intervention seems like the only safe solution to them. Not as sure that the Covenant's leaders will be happy about the damage to the Forerunner station, though they are rather intense on that issue. I just thought that was, uh, interesting. <laughs> yes. Uh, the more flood there are, like, the more hosts that get infested in any one time, the smarter they become, because they tap into all of those brains and use them as, uh, essentially distributed computing. say that using a semi-automatic weapon and an automatic weapon at the same time is really confusing for my index fingers. Well, they were nice enough to bring us a ride. Now that you mentioned I didn't see any buttons on that side. So yeah, thanks guys, you incredible morons. By the way, I should mention, I know this, the, the dual-wielding thing is abjectly unrealistic. The suggestion is that... Well, we can do this because we're a Spartan. They, they're, uh, the strength in their arms really is good enough to hold two fully automatic weapons steady at the same time. Or at least relatively steady. One-way ticket. Yeah, that sounds about right. Like every other ride uh, the chief's ever gone on. Oh, hey. Did we make it? What's the name of this level? Regret. Yeah, that's the way. How are you doing? Uh, I'm all right. How are you? This lake couldn't have been formed by volcanic action, which means it was either built this way on purpose or was created by some other cataclysmic event. I'm sorry. Were you trying to kill something? No, no. Right now, I'm all right. Oh, we stopped. Awesome. Roll over and play dead. Okay. Oh, there is a floor there. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> that was, uh, unexpected. Why is it churning so violently? And so silently? Are we churning that much? Yes. Yes, we are. Oh, please don't push me off the cliff. Oh, God. 
God's sake, Stacker. I think that's Pete Stacker. Yes, I've played this enough that I have uh, remembered some of the uh, meaningless characters' names. Like the sergeants who just keep showing up in every game because they like the voice actors. Do I need to push this again? Um, we're not, like... No, we're not there. Great. Oh, fuck! I was actually going to try to make that jump. Oh, there's your problem! There was a dude still on it. I guess the idea was that even the game was like, okay, if he's not going to go, we're just going to send you along our way. Oh. Oh, yes, and I, uh, I looked into something, because the music uh, at this one bit had really been throwing me off. Uh, this game actually had two licensed songs in it back in the day. Uh, one was uh, a, a track called Follow by Incubus, and it was supposed to play during the, uh, the Banshee sequence, where you're chasing after the uh, you know, heretic leader. Hence, you know, Follow. The other one was a track by Breaking Benjamin called Blow Me Away. It was meant to appear later on in the game. I'll point out when we get there. Uh, apparently, they do appear... Those songs do play if you go to the old graphics, but not the new graphics. Because technically, the old graphics are just a recreation of Halo 2, which had the songs licensed for them. Whereas for Halo 2 Anniversary, a separate product, they would need to re-license the music. So they didn't. So, uh, yeah, that's not great. I am told it's still there if you play it on, uh, you know, old graphics. I'm not really loving the angle of this thing. Oh no, we're flattening out now. Oh hey, there's turrets right there. I'm just gonna stand just here. Hey, we're fond of these triangle shapes, aren't they? Oh, you missed the mud and the chicken wire. Oh yeah, it's not dark enough. Oh! Jeez, they really- oh... No. Oh dear. Oh dearie, dearie, dear. Don't do it, Marine. Right, sure thing. <laughs> That guy's having a great time. Now you're on my good side. I was really hoping this one would have a set of uh, plasma rifles in the back. Get on out here so I can sight on you. Good one.
Oh. Oh, it just looks like concrete back in the day. Yeah, I prefer that. By the way, if I remember correctly... Uh oh. Alright, let's take that. There's a submerged section that connects these towers to the outlying structures. Oh! Looks like we're going down. Unless you'd prefer to swim. So we're drawing energy from the towers around us? Is that why it's being broadcast into space? I don't know if broadcast is the right word for that. What gun did you have? No. That's fine. It's all good. Mostly unloaded needler. Ah, the flashlight. The, uh... Oh, fuck! It's, of course, it's an elevator. Oops. My bad! Oh. Wow, this guy's really dedicated. Okay! Yeah, that guy's dead. Oh dear. Okay! I don't actually remember this at all. I've intercepted a secure transmission from Regret's carrier to something called High Charity. It seems to be a formal apology to the prophets of truth and mercy. Apparently, Regret jumped the gun when he attacked Earth. He's asking the other prophets to forgive his premature arrival arguing that no human presence was foretold. That explains why there were so few ships in his fleet. But it's odd a prophet would have such bad intel about his enemy's homeworld. You know that thought did occur to me? I also suggest that whatever they came here... Oh, not here. They came there for... They didn't check anything first. They didn't do any uh, intel or recon. Guy's dead. Sorry about that. Maybe he was secretly Aquaman. Oh, I should mention. Uh, High Charity, the capital city of the Covenant. It's a lot fucking bigger than it looks on the, uh, the cutscenes. Just give me a moment. Here we go. High Charity... Well, it was created when the Covenant took a moon, cut it in half, hollowed one of the halves out, and filled all the space inside with, I guess you would call it a space station, but it's really more like a really big city. It's uh, 505 kilometers long, 348 kilometers wide, has an approximate mass of 100 trillion metric tons, and, uh... Honestly, I think the most impressive part is uh, the population. Three hierarchs, 23.8 million citizens, and 7.7 .7 billion menial laborers. Their slave population is higher than the population of Earth is in 2022. Shit! Oh, and if that wasn't enough, uh, they finished construction on High Charity in the year 791 BC, as the humans measure time. That's how long they've existed with that level of technology. Whoa. I really liked that trip down there. Maybe the reason I forgot the first time was because it was just dark and blurry. It stood out way more. You don't rape! I 
one of them just say spoiler? Oh, those fish models are weird in the old graphics. There's a big hole in the middle. I can't tell if that background over there is painted on or not. Alright, yeah, you're right. We got work to do. We're not actually going anywhere. Where are we going? It's usually the far side of the room, I'm just saying. You don't actually think I like this pattern better. Oh, yeah, there's a door up there. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, yeah, rocket launcher. Who wants some fuel rods? I wonder if this is like the use they found for expended fuel rods from their vehicles or something. No oh, ammo. Boy. The ego in this guy. Oh boy. Oh, hey, what do you guys get here? Shit! Fucking... Worm colonies. Oh, here's a t fun tidbit. The reason that they always come in twos is because at some point during their life cycle, the Lekagolo worms split in half and, you know, perform mitosis. And the worms that split off from each other have a telepathic connection to each other. So when you form hunters out of them... They refuse to leave each other's sides, and they go fucking berserk if one of them dies. God damn it. I've got a ah, hell. Is that sniper still up here? Hi. I don't like the way they walk on their toes as opposed to on their feet. If you look closely, they curl their toes under their feet just before they land. No part of the sole of that thing's foot is making contact with the ground and... Frankly, I feel like that has to be uncomfortable. Oh! I found, I thought I found one already here. For generations, our holy arrangement put the prophets in charge of religion and technology. The elites led our military forces to convert new species and find relics such as your halo. And these relics you sought, the San Shayun, your prophets, told you that they would lead you on this great journey? Yes. Transcendence. Eternal life. Their promises were endless. We gave up our old ways to follow the prophets' lead on the great journey. Gave up all of our history. All of our traditions. Not all of your traditions, it seems. This Arbiter you mentioned, hasn't that always been a position of power for your species? Power? It was long ago. An Arbiter was once the pinnacle of our people, leader of the clans, and master of the battlefield. Whoa. But then, an Arbiter committed heresy, and an example was made of him. Heresy? He challenged the word of the prophets. Challenged. And lost. So the title of Arbiter became a badge of shame for our most spectacularly failed warriors. Hmm, yes. 
They were accomplished manipulators. Back before the firing of the array. I see at least that hasn't changed. Manipulators? What? And before? Before when? I will explain later. Right now I want you to tell me everything you can of these Arbiters. Hmm. I don't quite know what to make of that. By the way, I looked it up, and the, uh, the heretic leader also has a real name in the fiction. It was, uh, Sesa Refumi. Or Refumi. I don't know how you say that. Gross. Ah, right! Forgot about those guys. I was trying to look at his feet. My bad. They don't even have feet. They're just piles of worms in a humanoid armor. That was dumb of me. That was impressive of me. So now I've pissed off his brother. Oh, man. Would you knock that shit off? Um... Okay, we're running. Oh, he's armored the front of his torso! Alright, now I've got you. You're stuck on the geometry. Nah, I'm just gonna go around here and, uh... Make this less embarrassing for both of us. Oh, no! I mean, in fairness, you've got a brain the size of a planet. You know, they call, uh... Computer program AI's dumb, ain't that bad, but even in th even those ones have like I read about a specific one who is said to have uh, the equivalent of a, a human IQ of 240. All right. Oh no, this one's just a pole. Ah, here we go, backing up, backing up. Oh, that's weird. There you are! I was waiting for that. Okay. The timer has gone, though. So I'm gonna call it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Halo 2 Anniversary. When we, uh, continue tracking down this asshole and uh, reflect on what we've learned about the Arbiters. Interesting. Later! Most of those we encountered on our search oh. were compelled to join our Union, to take part in a movement that promised freedom for allegiance, salvation for service. But some, like the humans, chose to impede our progress block our access to sacred sites, damage holy relics. For their transgressions, the humans shall be hunted until none remain alive. Okay, now later for reals.